Hello, Pisces. Yeah, I know, guys. I have been gone. Just dealing with my own shit. Okay. <laughs> but I am definitely going to try to stay on it and be more consistent with you guys. Develop a schedule for the readings. When I was getting ready to do your reading, this reading is for the month of March, by the way. But, um, and I was just thinking, Pisces is one of those signs that I love for some reason. And what's funny is, I guess it's because I get such genuine feelings, like when I do your reading. And I don't know how else to put it. Um, I, I don't know. It just seems like you guys are always you know just trying to do right by others for the most part what's funny is that I've never dated a Pisces but well yeah I have I take that back long time ago in high school that's been 30 years ago but um, and my brother's a Pisces and and neither one of those relationships do I really have like this really strong bond with them even with my brother I mean of course he's my brother and I love him but um, we don't have we're not really that close he's a lot older than I am too but it's weird because when I get your reading I feel when I do your reading I feel um, I don't know happy I feel really connected so, I feel like love is in the air, too, for a lot of you. Love is in the air, but there's something that I feel like you guys cannot let go of. Let's see. What is going on around my Pisces? Love is in the air. Love. <laughs> so much so that it's like, um, I feel it. I feel happy. I feel... Um, loved I feel giddy there is an interest here in somebody what's crossing my Pisces Queen of Wands be confident because I'm, I'm getting that that's probably was like bothering you is that you're not feeling that confident in your abilities in your presence the way you look um, the way you feel, the way you do things. Own it, Pisces. I'm, I'm feeling like I need to tell you that. Okay? You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are alluring. You are attractive. You know, I feel like there, there's something that you are, are feeling that's keeping you from being confident in... Um, establishing a connection with this person that fire energy there Aries, Leo, Sagittarius what is the underlying issue here for Pisces the will of fortune change change the way you view yourself change the way your, your image of yourself and I think it has everything to do with your image of yourself not how other people view you or how you think they view you it's about you and your self-esteem your confidence level that needs to change okay the recent past for Pisces four of swords somebody hurt you before and I feel like in the in, in just recently you've been going through this healing process um, where somebody probably cheated on you they betrayed your trust um, they definitely disappointed you okay you, you felt that heartbreak you felt that heartache and that disappointment but I feel like you're still in that healing phase and some of the residual effects of past relationships they're still here and it's got you um, doubting yourself is a thing sleeper energy there crying thoughts for my Pisces 
Don't doubt yourself, friends. Knight of Wands. You definitely want to move forward. You definitely want that spark, that fire energy, that um, uh, that energy to initiate things and be confident in what it is that you're doing. You want to move on. You want to move forward. <clears throat> I feel like there's definitely a fire energy here for you. I feel like an air energy uh, hurt you guys before. Hmm. Let's see. What's coming in for Pisces? Queen of Pentacles. You being confident and secure in who you are. Um, I feel like you guys are also afraid that the, the same cycle is going to repeat itself where somebody stepped out on you or somebody um, was only interested in, in sex with you. Uh, somebody's going to leave you. I feel like that is what's like... The, resonating with you right now is that it's going to happen to you again but the thing is to not concentrate on what you don't want to happen and to concentrate on what you do want to happen okay because whatever it is that you're thinking in your head that is what will manifest itself in your life so be careful because your mind is a powerful thing okay <clears throat> I see you becoming sure of yourself though. I really do. Let's see. How is Pisces viewing this situation? Two of Pentacles. Not sure what to do with it. Part of you wants to run away. <laughs> Even though those feelings are there. But I think, you know, just like what has happened in the past, um, the the bad experiences you've you've had and how you're feeling now towards a situation is really like kind of too much for you and you don't really know what to do with it kind of going back and forth on a teeter-totter you know yeah I want to try this um, but I wonder if they like me I wonder if they're gonna to do to me what they what that other person did you know Capricorn energies here I see you starting to love yourself, starting to, to see you, how everybody else sees you. And I feel like everybody else sees you as like this loving, this strong, this secure person. But little do they know that that's not really how you are feeling inside. I, I think the main thing is for you to reshape how you feel about yourself. What is the influence here for, oh, Ten of Pentacles flipped over there. You want a secure, stable, loving, supportive family. Relationship. Ten of Pentacles, that's a relationship that I want. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups, you know. But when, somebody's con when somebody can hold you down, you know, through the good and the bad, that is that is really what is phenomenal you know because when you're in a relationship especially long-term relationships you go through different stages in the relationship and you may not feel so in love at a certain point but you feel really committed to that person still and then you have to do things to activate those emotions again and keep them activated you know so I would much rather have a ten of Pentacles uh, relationship Let's see. Death. Transformation. You are changing. There's certain things I feel like, especially, you know, all by yourself, but when you can hear somebody else actually telling you, validating um, your great qualities, it helps you to see those qualities in yourself. It really does. And I see that the outside influence is is death, is change, is transformation. This is energy that's going on exterior to you. Nothing that you have control over. Your point of view about yourself is, is what is, is changing. The energy shifting so you can change your position on how you feel about yourself. That Scorpio energy. And move forward. 
you're going to come out of this a totally different person and I see that from all this hurt and anguish that you've experienced before hopes or fears for Pisces the moon that you will not be sure that you will not know all the answers that things will still be unclear to you things will be foggy you won't know for sure if if this person's gonna leave you or or do some fucked up shit to you like somebody else has done your fear is that I feel like you won't be good enough that you'll constantly be on this emotional roller coaster and not really be secure in who you are and how you feel and what you want the unknown is your fear that cancer energy could definitely be another water energy here for some of you guys too overall outcome for Pisces King of Swords. King of Swords. You know, I feel like somebody is in the shadows. I feel like there's an X here. And I feel like that person likes to put on this smoke and mirrors kind of routine and whenever you try to move on they appear and then when you get lured back in they disappear or they do something else and then you try to move on again and here they come so you've got somebody I think that that pops in and out of your life that's not really wanting you to move on and trying to really inhibit you moving on trying to stop you from moving on because they don't want you to get over them okay so keep that in mind guys there's somebody here that does not want you to get over them they like for you to feel um, not sure of yourself they like that they like the insecurity because it keeps you involved with them you know, hmm. Aquarius, Gemini energy could be Libra as well. All right, so let me pull a Romance Angel card for you guys. Close out your reading. Giving and learning. A lot of people have gotten this too. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Releasing and healing the past. Letting go of things that no longer serve you, including how you have viewed yourself before. Because it's right in line with what that past person wants you to believe and think about yourself. Okay? So that's what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Namaste.